kids, Edward and I, were pretty close. He, of course, was a typical boy. We grew up with my father, so as you'd expect, I stayed pretty close to him. Anything he did, I did, no matter what it was. If he was 100 feet in a tree, I was too. He had no fear as a kid. As we got older, we kind of slowly started to drift apart and started our own paths in life. I moved 200 miles away, and he stayed close to our dad. He and my dad were very close, good friends. It wasn't too long until he moved up here with me to start a new life. Our relationship pretty much started back to where we were as kids. We stayed pretty close again, always talked to each other, and he often talked about his future. For him, he couldn't wait to start a family. He respected women as our father taught us. And as kids, kids were drawn to him like no other. He loved kids and kids would play with him all the time. Edward would have been an amazing father had he had a chance. The town that we moved to wasn't anything special. It had two sawmills, a factory. But no matter where Edward was, he made friends, all sorts of friends. See, Edward never judged anybody. He liked people based on what he knew about them. Not what they looked like or not what they had or where they lived. Edward and I grew up poor ourselves and learned to respect everybody. Edward made all sorts of friends, the good ones for him, the ones that were good for him, and the ones that were potentially bad for him. One friend particularly was Deacon Felch.